In this episode of the Online Classroom, we're looking at population data to inform our human factors in our electric vehicle. As we know, different people are different sizes. In the anthropometric online classroom, we looked at somebody who was 1.8 meters tall. In this online classroom, we're going to take population data to try and understand whether or not the majority of the population will fit inside the LEAF electric vehicle. Here is some population data from an Australian Bureau of Statistics survey looking at the average height of male and female participants aged between 18 and 24. We find that men are generally taller than women and in the sample population they had the standard deviation for men was slightly smaller than female and the shortest man in the study was 1m52 and the tallest was 1m98. The shortest female was 1m45 and the tallest was 1m85. Using this information, we can begin to understand the height distribution of the populations. As you can see, the male population is slightly taller than the female population. So why is this important when looking at the anthropometrics of the LEAF EV? If you take two standard deviations of both the male and female population, either side of the mean, then the car will be designed for approximately 95% of each of those populations. So within the range 1m65 to 1m91 for adults, you're likely to have 95% of all male of all males and likewise with the females. If we look at that on the graph, you can see that the lower bound of the male population is within the range of the female population and likewise the upper bound of the female population is within the upper bound of the male population. If we take two standard deviations of both of the populations, we will capture about 97.5% of the population. So if the car is designed with these anthropometric characteristics in mind, the car will suit the vast majority of the population. So taking our upper and lower limits and looking at both the front and back seats, we find that in the front, the vast majority of people will be able to fit, whilst in the back, we come across a similar situation to when we looked at the anthropometric data the first time in that the back legroom is probably not sufficient for the vast majority. And we find that whilst the lower limit of females will fit in the back seat, it will be a bit cramped for the rest of the population. So with that in mind, there are some further considerations. Different age groups have different height profiles, as do people from different geographical regions. Children are obviously smaller than adults and so the backseat legroom might still be suitable for them. Are the majority of people in the car going to be male or female? And how often are people in the backseat? And with that, we've reached the end of the population data online classroom.